What's up guys? This is the first time that I'm going to talk about the incident that happened in Geriminas Tower last week. First of all, I want to thank every single person who wrote me on Facebook to my email. I got so many messages from people supporting me, telling me that they understand how I feel, that they have no idea how these things can happen. And that made me feel really, really like that people care about things. I read every single message, I couldn't reply to all of them, but... And I also got, like, bad comments, bad reactions from people, people who was writing me, insulting me. Some people thought that I'm just doing this because I want to get attention and... and that I'm a provocator and, and stuff like this, so I just wanna... I just wanna tell you how I feel and how I saw the situation in that moment and why I post this video. First of all, I just decided to go for a walk with a friend. We went to the tower. Suddenly I hear that some guy is shouting. I just turn, check. I just thought, okay, just like a conflict between two guys, you know. What can happen, like, just a discussion. But then, like, this guy uh, was coming to my way, shouting, you know, like, you saw in the video. I don't even want to repeat what he was shouting. And my first reaction was just to turn on the camera and film because for me it was so strange behavior, I was shocked. And in that moment, like, what we just thought that this is just like a racist guy. I really was trying to stop him at any point I wanted to provoke him. And many people called me provocator, but I was not provoking him, I was trying to stop him. Yes, later I got angry, I shot on him. But because, like, what else I can do? Like, in that moment I felt so angry because tourists were there, they were scared, they were like going away from there and what would happen like some people told me maybe you know like uh, in that cases you don't have to film, you have to go away and call the police like we did call the police but these guys took like a lot of time to come. We, we really called the police like what do you think? But I cannot just step away and see how these things happen because first of all like the people who is around me, the people who follows me on social media, on my YouTube channel, you guys know how much I love this country and how much I want to show like that this country is a great place to live. And I open my life to everybody by making my YouTube channel and uploading videos. So like I, I couldn't just tolerate that this happens and I had to stop this guy because at that point like we don't know like uh, what can be in his mind, you know, like, I'm a person like, when I see something like this, when I see something that it's really, really like shocking me, I, I could not just like stop, you know, I needed to, to, to control him, I needed to just tell him to calm down, you know, the security guy of this place was doing nothing, like, nothing, later I was informed that he has some mental illness, and I'm really sorry for that, but you know, people is not carrying posters in their heads saying that they have some kind of illness or something and I think that's not an excuse for this kind of attitude, you know I didn't do anything, like I didn't punch him because after he punched me I could have punched him back or something I don't like violence and so on, like many people were saying, oh if, if I would be you I would have kicked his ass or so on Maybe if he would do that to another guy, he would have done that. Or maybe if he would have done that to a group of guys, this would have ended so bad, you know, for him. And I think I, I act right and I did the right thing, you know. And I also think that if this security guy who was working there, he would have stopped him in the right time, this wouldn't be a huge deal. And I post the video in three places. I post it in my channel and I share the link in my Facebook and I share the link in a foreigners group in Facebook. I didn't post the video anywhere else. The video got in some news portals, the video was in, uh, in some other Facebook pages. I didn't post it. You cannot stop that people share these kind of things, you know. And what can I do? In that moment I called the police and the police was asking like random questions like how old I am? They ask how old he is? They call like and ask several times where we are and we told them that we are in Gerimino Tower. They took like 25-30 minutes to come. Well anyway, when the police came they just like took this guy to the police station I believe. 
he called an ambulance for me just that check because I had this bump here it was not a big deal but it could have ended up really really bad right because it took so long for someone to control him and I'm wondering always like if, if it would be in the opposite way like if it would be a foreigner the one who is making trouble I just hear so many bad experiences from foreigners here with the police and the police like after that they called me and they told me that they wanna hear like uh, my declaration you know like how everything happened I gave them the address of my home it's been already a week and I'm waiting until they come I don't wanna make like a big problem or something I, I just I just don't like how the police is working towards foreigners I don't like it because if it would be in the opposite way as I said if the foreigner guy would be the one who made problems they would be there as soon as possible trying to get a declaration trying to put this guy uh, in in the police station or something like this you know because they are so despective I have to tell I have to be honest with this and many people would agree with me especially foreigners who are living here long time you know this country is amazing this is why I'm living here four years there are things that I don't like and I see that there is many people who doesn't like a lot of things, but they don't complain, guys. If you don't complain, nothing is going to change, right? So what I did after all this happening, I came home. I just did the video and I posted in my YouTube channel because until that moment, I didn't know what was happening with this guy. For me, until that moment, this guy was just a racist guy who was like attacking tourists, right? What else I can think in that moment? Do you guys think that I do this because like I want to ruin the life of someone? Do you guys think that I'm doing this because I want to get attention? Eventually, I removed the video from my YouTube channel because I, I got uh, an email from a family member of this guy. It was a, a really nice email actually apologizing for all this situation. And I, I felt really bad because because I understand that this guy has you know like this illness and and it hurts because you know like it's something that you don't choose you know like these things happen to people and I'm really sad I'm sorry like I'm sorry that you have to go through all of this and I'm sorry that the family has to go through all of this I just want to say thank you because I really appreciate that you wrote me and right after I got this email I removed the video from my channel you know like as I said like the video is in some other Facebook pages that I cannot control but at least I, I, I removed from my channel and uh, I didn't get any benefit from this video you know like people think that I got money from this video because the video has so many views no guys YouTube puts restriction in this type of videos you cannot monetize videos uh, with violence there was so much discussions in social media I didn't reply to anybody who was attacking me in social media I just want to tell you that I don't regret that I post this video because I show a really, really, really clear problem that there is around here. And I really, really hope that you watch this video one day and, and uh, that you, you can win to this illness, that you can like get better, that you don't have to go through all of this again, that you don't have to act like this again, and that you can like just get better and have a normal life like we all deserve. It has been extremely hard for you and for your family, all of this. I'm really sorry and I really hope from all my heart that you guys have a great time in the future, that you guys can enjoy together and that you can win through this illness, you know. For the people who was telling me that I'm trying to damage the image of Lithuania, guys, like, you just have to see my YouTube channel you can see how much I love this country. I don't like everything here because I see that there are so many issues and once again, nobody complains about anything, so nothing changes. But I hope that just people can, in the future, express how they feel. I'm not expecting that everybody likes this video. I'm not expecting that the people who hate me or insult me will say oh Fabian okay I understand because it doesn't matter what you do it doesn't matter how good you want to do things it doesn't matter what are you doing there will always be people who like what you do and who doesn't like what you do before I finish this I was always wondering like these days why these things happen to me I have a YouTube channel I don't go to the 
shower often. I'm working during the days. Last week I had like late shift. Things happen, I don't know why. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Achula Bay, and see you next time. Bye.